Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium free crypto update. Today we're looking at Bitcoin as the weekly chart has just closed. Although it's looking weak, I still think there is good possibility for cryptocurrency over the coming quarter as we roll into quarter four of 2021, the big hyped up event in crypto and Bitcoin. So before we dive in, make sure you've bumped up those YouTube numbers down below by hitting that like button subscribing to the channel so you can see this content come up in your newsfeed to stay up to date with the crypto markets. Let YouTube know you want to see more of this by smashing those numbers down below. Okay, let's crack on with what we've got today. Bitcoin closes week, but I still think there is hope. We're going to look at Wyckoff distribution, which we have covered for several weeks now. 50% levels for the weakness and the strength in the market. Extended accumulation, is that possible? And then also Q4. So, we also have Patreon, link to that is down below. Get on board if you're interested. There are a couple that have just come up, one out of 360 and another one out of 100. Just thought I'd mention that at the beginning, but yeah, the Patreon is ongoing. Weekly reports as well, which we have one coming out today. So the market caps just under 2 trillion. Bitcoin's at 44,200 today. And I've got a price in mind, which I want to see Bitcoin break above, similar to what happened in April when I was watching 60,500 and you guys that have been around for a while, you know that was the price for me. If I could get above that or if Bitcoin could get above that, that's where I was looking for strength. And you you can see now from the chart, looking back in May, it just missed that. It was just so close to that price and it didn't reach that figure and we crashed. That was a time when everyone was super, super bullish, 80,000, $100,000 Bitcoins but we dumped very soon after that. And it does take a lot of patience. From that point in time, it was about a month, just short of a month of not being so bullish on the market when everyone else was extremely bullish. I remember I felt like a bit of an outlier there. So uh, if you guys don't remember, check it out on the channel as well. Cracking towards 220,000. Ethereum is 3,100. Cardano is at $2.27. Solana 142 is finding its strength again. And it's bounced off a nice 50% level. And then, of course, Polkadot and Doge now dropping to number 10 as Avalanche just starts to push its way into that top 10. So it's still about halfway off, but uh, at this rate, Doge is losing a lot of ground. We're here to talk about Bitcoin. We're here to talk about the weakness in the closes on the weekly charts from Bitcoin at the moment. This is the, the Wyckoff distribution schematic, if you're unfamiliar with it. Uh, we've been looking at this for quite some time. We've also got courses on it as well. This is the way I've been trading for years. It makes sense in these sorts of markets which accumulate and distribute, which all markets do, but it just seems so much easier in cryptocurrency at the moment because it's a new market, a lot of new people, and emotions really do drive these markets, especially when people are still trying to trade off news events. What we're looking at here is the distribution pattern. So we've got a few phases here, phase A, B, C, D, E, and we've gone through this test and now the dump is on. So let's have a look at that and just what we've been seeing over the coming weeks uh, or the previous weeks, I should say. So July low into that peak, the correction, another high correction, another high correction, a little, little bit of a lower high, another correction. And then we get the weak push out before the dump, lower high. And now we have crashed again and we're finding ourselves in this potential reaccumulation area. Maybe it's going to include some sort of a grind out like we previously saw. And you can see that this looks very similar to this. We've talked about it many times before, so I won't go on about it too much. You can see it on the previous videos. There's the first run out, the next run, and it gets shorter and shorter, meaning there's less real big money buying but retail is getting super hyped. Retail was super hyped through February, March, April, and May, but you can see there was no gains made on Bitcoin. We had this little high that came up that went underneath the previous high, a tiny correction, because everyone was saying, well, we're going to 80K at this point. The weak, the weak, weak fake out before the correction and the lower high, and now the dump. So you can see it's very similar to what has just happened, but you just don't know it at the time as it's playing out. You can get a bit of a feel of it. And the little purple boxes that I have here are just the way I have represented the market in terms of the sentiment. This was the early guys just really buying in and then big money selling out. You can see it down here in the volume. And then more money was more big money was selling out here. And then retail started to go crazy, which you can see here there was just next to no volume. When this low came in, we had more volume pick up. 
So that was a good sign, but it just wasn't enough to hold the market up. Weakness came through again and we dumped. So the weakness at the moment, let's have a look at that. And that is the closes. So we're closing underneath the 50% levels. So the 50% in question are the correction range, which is this. It's kind of similar to your moving averages, which you can see on the chart at the moment. So if we take those off to clear up the chart, the 50% I'm, I'm concerned with here is around 46 and a half. And then you've got another 50% level, which is the low to the high. And so that 50% is at around 40,800, call it 41. And then we have the next 50% level, which is the recent correction off this range here. So that 50% comes in at 46,300. So the major 50% that we're looking at at this point is 468. The other one's 46.3. Somewhere in between is about, call it 46.5, 46.6. And uh, the, the big number is around 47.500. That's my number that I'm looking at to get this market above. Just like I explained in the intro, which was the 60,500, the market fell short of that. Next dump happened. I'm looking at this bar here and I'll zoom in on that in just a sec. But the 47K is important to me because that is the level that we initially bounced off and got that weak rally. So as if we can get above 47, as, and there's also so many 50% at that level, the 47 is looking really good to me. Zoom in on this bar right here. Big volume, change in sentiment. This was obviously the major change here. So above 53,000 is ideally where, where we want to see it for a conservative entry, but of course, then our reward is a lot less than where we currently are. So we miss out on all of those gains, but that's the price we pay for risk and reward. So the 47 is looking good. If we drop it to a four hour, this is the bar right about here, 47,300. All right, so that's when things started to uh, get a change of behavior. And so we go back to Wyckoff and they have signs of weakness, last point of supply. Now in this particular article, they explain it as a change of character, change of behavior, same sort of thing. It's under a sign of weakness. So that's where I'm seeing this, the sign of weakness come in with that change of behavior. And of course this bar is massive as well, but just on a shorter term time frame to give us that hope of where the market is going next, a bit of an earlier warning sign from the way I'm analyzing the market is around that bar right there. Okay, so change of behavior, change of character, sign of weakness. Got it. We got the dump. How long is this going to last? Probably a little bit less time, I believe, than what we previously saw from the May to the uh, the July low. So we had that April peak, the next May peak, and then we had the July low. So where does that leave us then for quarter four? Well, I think it's possible that we grind out here for a little bit longer. Uh, we've got this sort of period that we're looking at to happen next. Should we get a little bit more of a grind down? Should we get a grind to the side? I think the market is just going to get quiet and boring and the views will drop on YouTube. Things will just, people will just leave and things will get a little bit quiet. That's what I'm expecting to happen. Now, if that doesn't happen and I'm wrong on that regard, then I think that will show us when we break above the 50% levels, these major 50% levels, similar to if you were running and using your moving averages, you know, this close above your 50 day and your 200 day but I find the 50% just work a little bit better for the style that I do. Nothing wrong with the moving averages. Uh, and so yeah, once we get to that point, then I think we'll probably get a little bit more of that action in. It's nice to see volume coming in as well at these lows. So that's where I'm looking at it for our weak close because we have closed underneath these 50% levels on the corrections, but this is our close and we have closed above our rallies. So there's our 50% rally. That's the uh, the range we're looking at. And the rally is at 40,800, call it 41. And our major 50% is the 34,000. So we're well and truly above that for now, but we did dip into that 39,000. Onto a weekly chart, make it a little more easier to see. That's where we sit at the moment with a close price of 43,100. If you guys are interested in learning more about Wyckoff distribution and accumulation, I got a specific course on that in the Investor Accelerator. You can find a link to this down below in the description, top of the description there. 10% off until the end of September. Use the code by the dip 
10% off full courses and everything else that is coming up in the Investor Accelerator as well. More than seven hours worth of content in there. It's a 12-month membership with other guys in the group to learn more about trading and investing in cryptocurrencies full-time. Whatever period you like, you can watch this at any point in your day through the through a website or an app. That's a Bitcoin update for today. It did close weak. I think there is still a lot more strength in here. It looks like a nice movement so far. And my lucky number is 47 and a half thousand. I'm throwing it out there. Neck is on the line. Around that 47 and a half thousand, we start to get some consolidation before the next move up. That's the sort of area that I'm liking for a new Bitcoin move. Now, I think quarter four could take a little longer than expected. Maybe we get the move later in that quarter four. Obviously, we're going to keep watching that on the channel. But I don't think come 1st of October, this market just shoots to $300,000 Bitcoins. This is not how it works in my analysis. So I hope you guys found some value from that video. If you did, smash all of those YouTube numbers down below. Catch you on Instagram or on Twitter for daily crypto updates. And of course, in the Investor Accelerator membership, if you are interested in learning more about trading cryptocurrencies and investing long term for that financial freedom, check out the links down below in the description. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.